Hey everyone, welcome back to Iguana Gaming. I'm the Iguana, and today we are playing some Ark Survival Evolved Mobile Edition solo style. Uh, this is the single player game. We are on Puff the Magic Raptor, which we tamed up in a live stream uh, not too long ago. And guess what I have here in front of me, guys? It is a level 150 packy. Um, I cannot believe this thing spawned here by the Hidden Lake, uh, just across the way from my base. But we have to tame it. Um, I don't have a choice. It's a 150. Uh, just like this Dimorphodon I tamed off cam. Um, it was also a level 150. It did lose quite a bit of taming effectiveness since I did not have any soothing bomb and still do not have any soothing bomb. Uh, but that is okay because we will be able to get this guy up. I'm pretty sure this one is on passive. Great. Um, you know, I may need to actually make some more drink arrows and now that I'm thinking about it. I do have quite a few narcotics uh, lined up here, so it probably won't take 50. I already have 18. Let's go ahead and just make 25 more Trank Arrows. Um, and if that doesn't do it, then we are seriously doing something wrong. Look at how cute it is. Oh my gosh, guys. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. It has been a very long time since I've had a Packy. I don't think I've ever tamed one on a mobile game before, and I'm super excited about this, this level 150 here. Waiting for all those Trank Arrows to craft up, and I believe they are immobilized by Bolas, so... Oh, alright guys, here we go. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh, now, I normally would hit a creature in the head, but Packies have an insane amount of... Um, what is it? Essentially, uh, head armor because of that little skull they have. So I'm just going to go ahead and try to trank this out by hitting it in the body. Um, hopefully it actually goes out and doesn't die. It doesn't have a ton of health. Oh no. Oh no. You, okay, it's low. Oh, oh no. Did I hit it? I hit it. No. Oh, I'm so upset. It went out just as I released that arrow. That is so unfortunate. Ugh. You know what? We're going to keep it anyway, guys. We're going to keep it anyway. It is still a 150 packy. Oh, that just, that's not fun. Uh, we could wake it up and try to knock it out again. I just don't want to waste the Trank Arrows on it. So I think what we're going to do is um, we may have to run back over there to get some berries. This guy will stay out for now. Um, yeah, let's run back over and grab some berries off of one of the trikes that we have. Look. It's so cute. Uh, there's nothing dangerous in the area, right? Nothing yet. Nothing wants to eat our face. Ooh, an iguanodon. Level 5. We're not taming that. It can be free. I'm not going to kill it either, though. Normally, I would wipe out low levels to uh, increase spawns, but I can't do it if it's an iguanodon, guys. I just can't. All right. Let's get back over here. I know both of these trikes have done quite a bit of berry gathering, so at least one of them has got to have a good source of mejo berries on them. Oh yeah, that should do it. Um, and then I still have quite a few narcotics on me, so we should be okay in that respect. I might use narco berries just because I can. Uh, that could be a thing, depending on how long this packy is going to take to get up. Now, packies don't have a ton of health, but they do a ton of torpor damage, guys. Like, it's an insane amount uh, with that little headbutt attack they have. So I really can't wait to try this guy out. Super excited about it. I can't believe we found a level 150. This trike is very much in my way. Alright, how are we doing? Okay, 4.4%. So we will need to use some narcotics on it. Um, I can probably use narco berries on it, and that will probably be okay since it is an herbivore. Uh, and we won't get the bug that still, I think, sometimes happens with the narcotics, um, the narco berries on carnivores. Alright. Oh, he's so cute, guys. Let's go ahead and take a look at these stats. Um, yep, so they look just about average for a packy. They're not super strong um, as a creature. They don't have, like, a ton of really interesting stats. Uh, but like I said, they are super cute. They're great little pack mules, especially if you level weight on them. Um, they can be really useful in the early game. And they do that headbutt attack, which can be super helpful for, like, fending off raptors and things. Trike, you are very much in the way. I'm not going to hit it, though, because I want the packy to stay. 
Ugh, I'm so sad about that taming effectiveness. I can't believe that happened. If I had the Amber, I would just kill it and do a revive tame, but uh, we're still too low level for that. And uh, I have not been watching ads on here as much as I should have. Um, I only have four Amber at the moment, as you can see. It's very, very little. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. We are going to wait for this guy to tame up. Um, it doesn't look like it's going to take too terribly long. And I will bring you guys back when we are ready to take this guy out and uh, see what we can knock out with a Packy. I am so excited. What level are you? 45. Meh. I'll stick to my 150 for now. Okay, guys. I will see you in just a few minutes here. Okay, guys, we are back. This packy is officially up. Um, oh my gosh, that did take a little bit of time. Unfortunately, it only came out at level 191, which is a little bit low considering that it was a 150 tame, um, but that is because we did get that uh, extra hit in on it, so it lost a lot of taming effectiveness, which is super unfortunate. But I'm still pretty happy. This is still a pretty high level packy. Um, I think it's still going to be good. And if you go ahead and look at it, its stats are still pretty okay. Um, it actually got a pretty high melee stat in the end. Almost, um, well, it's 363%, so that's pretty high for a Packy. Uh, now, I did go ahead and learn the Packy Ingram, uh, which I believe you can learn at level, where is it? There we go, 14. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and open to crafting. I do have all of the materials for it, so I'm just going to go ahead and craft that up. Let it craft for a second here. Oh, it's a slow craft. All right, there we go. Got a good XP boost from that too, which is great. All right, so we're going to go ahead and equip the saddle on this packy because we definitely need to take it out, guys. Um, Spikey's probably okay right there. It's a pretty tough little trike. Uh, oop, gotta save. Okay. Oh my gosh, guys, we're on a packy. They're so cute. Like, ugh. I believe a Packy was one of my first ever um, creatures that I had on an art game ever. Like, the first creature that was ever given to me when I first stumbled into a server as a noob and had no idea what I was doing, it was a Packy, guys. Someone stopped by with a giant Quetzal and uh, gifted me a Packy, and it was a great little friend. It helped me build my very first ever wooden base, and I loved it. Look at its little jump. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. Um, now Packies do a headbutt, uh, so they actually can knock creatures out, uh, sometimes before they can kill them. I actually need that hide, so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that while I'm here. There we go. Um, they do a decent amount of damage, um, for such a small creature. I think, technically, they're even stronger than raptors because they do have that headplate armor, so they have some natural armor when they're going up against a creature. Um, let's see, what can we... What can we test this on? How much damage do we do? Okay, so not even 40, which is not very much. And um, we're not the fastest creature in the world. Um, but if something is attacking you back, I'm not going to attack the Guanadon. I can't do it. Can't do it, guys. Uh, we probably can't take down a trike, or at least not a big trike. I wonder what level that trike is. We might, we might try the trike. Um... Now, like I said, Packies aren't like the strongest creatures in the world, but they are um, decently strong for their size. Yeah, okay, this might take a bit. We're a little bit more maneuverable than a trike. Okay, that didn't hurt too bad. Yeah, we're doing all right. All right, there we go. Oh, my di my dimorph is helping. I had totally forgotten that the dimorph was on my shoulder for a moment, um, and it is definitely doing its job here as a little shoulder pet. The dimorph was also a 150. Um, I think I mentioned that already, but uh, super awesome. Unfortunately, no good taming effectiveness since I don't have soothing balm and I don't have the proper taming materials for anything just yet. But uh, I can't pass up a 150 tame, guys. I just can't. They will uh, they will despawn. So I'll get them while I can, and we'll start out as high as we can, and eventually we will be able to get proper taming effectiveness on creatures, um, which I'm super looking forward to. All right. Now, unfortunately, I don't think these guys can actually harvest anything. I'm trying to hit these bushes and just nothing. Um, so you will have to keep them fed in another way. 
Oh, look, see, I think I knocked out one copy. Uh, the dimorph killed one. And, yeah. The dimorph is killing all of them. But if the dimorph were on passive, um, I believe the packy just does a lot of torpor damage, so they can easily knock a creature out. Let's go ahead and see what's down this way. I'm a little curious. I've uh, done a little bit of exploring in this area. I'm getting pretty familiar with it. That's a lot of moss chops eggs. Um, yeah, you know what? These guys run away, though. Maybe we can get it stuck on a rock. That'd be great. Oh, perfect. I want to pick up those eggs, so we're going to go ahead and attack him here. Um, I'm going to get the hide, and then we are going to pick up moss chop eggs, because that is how we get kibble. Uh, we're going to pick up eggs first. Now, I could go ahead and purchase a crafting station if I had the amber, um, which I don't just yet, but um, I'm kind of okay with... Uh, this method for now, uh, at least until we can get some amber built up on this server because, well, on this solo player game, excuse me, solo game, um, mostly because I don't want to waste the amber that I have, and if I can make kibble, I mean, I should make kibble. We are going to build a farm at some point on the base as well, and, uh, see how that goes. Hopefully it goes well. Um, let's see, guys, what is around here? We're just wandering around on our tiny little packy. They're so cute. And we are getting that weird shadow bug again. Ooh, a raptor. I bet we could take down a raptor, guys. We are definitely strong enough to take down a raptor. We also have really good stamina for what we are, um, or really low stamina drain, one of the two. All right, let's go ahead and take this guy down. Oh yeah, no problems there. Zero problems at all. Oh my goodness. Uh, I'm pretty pleased with that, um, to be perfectly honest. I think that's great. We we did quite a bit of damage there. Um, yeah, I think we'll be, we'll be fine if we run around on the, the packy for a little while, which I do plan to do. Um, okay, how are we doing here? Um, stamina is actually, I'm okay with. I think what I want to level on this guy mostly is either melee or weight. Probably weight a little bit and then mostly melee from there on out. Um, just so that we can handle some of the bigger creatures if we do spot them. What level is this? 95? Are you a female? You are. That's tempting. Um, it's not over level 100, but I like those red wings. And I do, I do plan to do a lot of breeding on this particular series, so if I get high level creatures, um, I'm hoping I get ones with interesting colors to start. Um, and or really good stats because I do want to do a couple of breeding things. Um, it can take quite a while to do breeding on Arc Mobile since the, the breeding timers don't have adjustments yet, but that's okay. I'm still looking forward to it. All right, we're going to head back towards base a little bit. Um, or no, will we? No. We'll go around. Um, we'll go around the long way and just kind of see what we can see on this little packy here. I do love it so, so much. Um, now, I did have a question the other day during my live stream. How do I get metal near the hidden lake? Um, and that's actually a really good question because I actually, there are no metal spawns near hidden lake specifically. Like there's not a designated metal rock. But what I do is I go around and I hit regular rocks. So let me see if I can actually maneuver here. You can pull out tools on the back of the packy, which is great. Um, so if you hit regular rocks enough, maybe we'll see it here. Hopefully. Yep, there it is. All right. So usually each rock that you break will give you about two to four metal. So um, as you can see from that, just one rock, we harvested two metal, which is equivalent to one metal ingot, which will build you a pick. So... Basically, what I've been doing to get my metal tools so far, um, and we have gotten a pick, a hatchet, and a pike with the metal I've collected, um, is I've just been breaking all of these rocks in the area and collecting metal that way. And it works for now. Uh, once we get a flyer, I will fly to a better source of metal, and uh, that will be a thing, and we will have more metal to use, better tools to get. Um, obviously, I will do um obviously at some point we'll be, we will be getting better blueprints on this game 
uh, whether through free gifts or through doing caves, uh, which I also plan to do. Hopefully they have fixed a lot of the cave crashes, because I need to do some caves, guys. Uh, that's going to be a thing on this game. There, he's torpored. So if you watch him run away, he probably won't go down, but we did enough torpor damage to him that, uh, yep, we can knock a creature unconscious. Now, normally it will kill them. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and kill this creature because I don't really want it. I do want it tied, though. I'm going to ignore the other one because it's behind me now. <laughs> That's a thing. Okay. Um, so it is possible to knock a creature out with a packy. Uh, it just is a little difficult. But they make really good little guards around the base. Um, even though they don't seem very strong, they actually do pretty well for all of that stuff. Is that a dillo egg? It is. It's now my dillo egg. All right. I'm collecting all of the eggs, guys. We're going to get a little bit of a kibble farm going here. I am determined. Now, is there anything else interesting? Um... Ugh, we have a really good turn radius. I'm so used to clunky creatures that uh, turn really slowly. That kind of surprised me. Ooh, another Dillo. Ugh. Yep, yeah, we're just going to clear out this little beach area. Because we can. And once again, I need all of the hide, guys. All of the hide. Oh my gosh. So, yeah, guys. We are going to need a really good name suggestion for this adorable little packy. Um, it is a male. I did double check, and I'm super excited about it. I've I've been meaning to tame some of the creatures that are maybe less useful, but I can't justify it on a multiplayer server where we just don't have the tame slots for that kind of thing. But on here, I have 50 tame slots all to myself, guys. That is the brilliance of a solo player game with a primal pass. Um, you you just can get so many more tames, and it's not. It's not a ton, obviously, but it is enough to do a number of things, including uh, kind of figuring out some of the lower level creatures that maybe you wouldn't normally use on a multiplayer server, just due to tame slots. Okay, we're gonna do it, guys. We're gonna try to kill this Sarko. Um, this is a little terrifying, because Sarkos are actually really decently strong. Um, but I think our little packy can do it. Oh, it's a dangerous area. Oh, there's the terror bird too. Great. Oh yeah, that's a lot of health. Okay, it is a little distracted by the turtle, which is great. Um, you know, we're gonna take it all on. Okay, terror bird's dead. Terror bird's dead. It's just the Sarko. Can we get close enough to hit it? Kind of? Kind of. We're doing okay. We're still okay. We're a little hurt, but I think we're gonna win. Yeah, we're definitely gonna win, guys. Okay, awesome. That Sarko has been bugging me for quite a while now. Uh, I wonder if there's anything good in here. Ooh, a Trank Arrow um, and regular arrows. I'll take those. Those are useful. All right, um, and then let's go harvest up this Sarko because I can always use more hide. Ugh, it's the bane of the early game of Ark is that you always, always need more hide. Oh my gosh, I feel so much safer with this little Packy around. Um, he's a good little friend, uh, and he does very well. And he's going to stay around, and he's going to be our buddy. And I'm super excited about it, guys. All right, so let's see here. What level are you? 70, that's pretty good. That wouldn't be too bad for a first Iguanodon friend. I'm going to avoid the Chally because they are really, really strong. That could probably kill us. Um... I think we can handle most things, but not the Chalicos. All right, uh, which I also need to tame one of those now that I'm thinking about it. We should definitely get a little beer farm set up so that we can tame one of those. Level 15, uh, no. I'm checking out all of the Iguanodons because once we hit level 30 and I can make that saddle, guys, that is gonna be the first thing I do is go out and tame myself an Iguanodon. I think that's gonna be the way to go. Level 10. Ugh. But they're also low level. Uh, let's go ahead and kill these drones. These bugs. These bugs were the bane of my existence. And now that I actually have some good creatures to hang out with, um, they don't bother me as much anymore, which is great. Uh, that early part of Ark on foot with no armor, that's rough. And now we're doing a little bit better, guys. Alright, so we're going to head back to base here. 
Um, I'm going to kind of give everyone an update on where I am in the process of getting all of that together. And yeah, it's pretty great. So I did tame up a Dimorph and two Moss Chops while I was off cam. Um, so we do have a couple of potential fiber gatherers, and then we do have a shoulder pet now, which I'm super excited about. I'm really looking forward to getting fiber without having to go out and hand pick it. Um, I'm hoping the Moss Chops is actually doing its job. I did get enough amber to buy a very basic collar. Um, so the very basic collar, which I believe is 20 amber for one of the Moss Chops. So I put one of the Moss Chops on Wander. Um, look, there we go. <laughs> the little jump. And we're out of stam. Um... We don't have a level up yet, but we do. I bet the Packy has a really cute level up animation. Oh no. I think the Diplo is pushing around one of our uh, little creatures, so we may have to take that down, guys. Um, if he's pushing around my Moss Shops, we have a problem. Because it can't harvest fiber if it's being pushed around by a Diplo. It is. It totally is pushing around my Moss Shops. Um, yeah, so as you can see, I have a collar on that Moss Chops. It's on Wandering, and that is specifically so that, um, yeah, you go away. Oh no, we're out of stamp. Ugh. We may need to get the bigger trike, guys. We may need to get the trike, or, like, the little army out. Ugh. Nope. We're not gonna be able to get anywhere near it with that Diplo. Uh. Maybe if we run around this way... It'll try to follow me, and then it won't be able to attack the rest of my creatures, because it'll be all stuck. That would be great. That would be ideal, in fact. I would like to kill it. I probably will kill it later, but it's going to take too long on this tiny little creature. We can't reach it, you know? Um, oh yeah, my trike is over there. That's okay. It'll be okay for now. Okay, level up. Let's see what level up animation we have. Um, oh, can we see it? Oh, it just does a little headbutt. Um, that's alright. It's not the best I've ever seen. Thanks, Diplo. You just helped me climb where I needed to go. Diplos are really, really, really annoying. Um, ugh. I'm really glad that it's not bugging me right now. Okay. So now, as you can see, um, I've tamed up quite a few creatures here. Uh, I do have Puff the Magic Raptor, um, up there, and the little raptor squad. The Dillo, the Moss Chops, and then our Wandering Moss Chops, which hopefully is doing its job of collecting some fiber. Um, no, just Thatch and Wood. You know what? I'll take it. Um, I will take it, guys. Thatch and Wood are still really good, um, and I can use both of those items. So I'm, I'm proud of our little Moss Chops. It's, it's doing its job, and it is wearing that basic collar just so that I can see where it is on the map at any given time. And if you are wondering... This is where we are. This is the Hidden Lake. It is a beautiful spot to build if you are interested in building here on your own solo game. Um, I'm going to go ahead and let him keep working. Okay. Let's head back up here. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and stop this Packy from following me. Now, please, again, guys, uh, think of some good name suggestions for this Packy because it is too cute and we definitely need a really good name for it as well as a really good name for our pretty high level dimorph here um it's not the prettiest dimorph i've ever seen uh but it is pretty high level it is a female and it's pretty amazing uh i did not mean to punch it um so we're definitely going to need a name for that and then potentially one of the moss shops um i probably won't keep both of them but they are a mate boosted pair so eventually i'm probably going to have the female doing a lot of the work once i get the area kind of fenced off and a little bit more uh, safe from predators. Yeah, that's the big deal, is all of the, the Carnos that can spawn in the area. Alright. Um, yeah, so this is our base so far. It's pretty basic. Uh, we have a little bit of a bedroom here with a bed, just one storage chest, and the mortar and pestle, and then I am going to be expanding. There will be a doorway, and we have a forge and a smithy going, and I'm going to keep building this way and make kind of a bigger little workstation here as well. And then, yeah, guys, it's going to be great. Um, I do have some more plans for the building. I have some ideas, but I'm always happy to take some suggestions. If you have um, particular types of builds you want to see or 
particular materials you want me to use, um, I'm always open to those, although I do have kind of a plan for how this next bit is going to go already. Okay, guys. So I think that that is actually going to do it for this episode. It was kind of a full one. Um, we did quite a bit here. There we go. Um, yeah, so if you did find yourself enjoying this video at any point, uh, please remember to hit that like button because it seriously helps me out. And if you want to see more content like this, you can, of course, subscribe. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Signing off. This is the Iguana. <laughs>